This budget makes historic investments in students, in schools, and in our teachers and education workforce. Governor Gretchen Whitmer is signing the bipartisan education budget with the highest ever pre-student investment in state history while in mid-Michigan. Thanks for watching the news at five. I'm David Custer and I'm Elise Ramey in for Meg. Governor Whitmer signed the bipartisan $19 billion school aid budget at Mott Community College in Flint. As TV 5's James Felton reports, it makes big investments into student safety, teacher recruitment and much more. Really happy with the budget. Freeland Community School District Superintendent Matt Carey's reaction to the state's education budget signed by Governor Gretchen Whitmer in Flint today. We're really happy to see school safety and mental health addressed in the budget. Um, it really helps address some of the needs we have and helps us keep students safer. The budget is divided into six sections. Students, mental health, learning supports, student safety, school infrastructure, and teacher recruitment. In all, the bipartisan fiscal year 2023 budget includes $9,150 per pupil funding for every public school student, the highest ever. $214 per pupil mental health and school safety funding. More dollars for special education and at-risk students. 1,300 more free preschool slots in the Great Start Readiness Program, $250 million for school infrastructure, and $10,000 in tuition for 2,500 future educators each year. It's not always the easiest thing to find teaching staff this time of year as we're getting ready for our next year. This will help us hopefully increase the pool of teachers going forward. It's no surprise that Kerry gives this budget a passing grade. He's quick to point out the work isn't done. Kerry hopes lawmakers in Lansing remember that. It's hard to find something that's more important to invest in than the education of children. I think this is a good start to making sure we're continuing that investment in the future. Reporting in Saginaw County, James Felton, WNEM TV5. And tonight, the Michigan Republican Party is bringing the Parents Against Whitmer Coalition to Saginaw. Tonight at 530, inside the Saginaw GOP offices on State Street, the coalition will be meeting with parents of students to make the case as to why Governor Gretchen Whitmer should not be reelected following her first four years in office. One of the Republican candidates hoping to run again.